What's up, Godzilla? What the hell? Where's my couch? Where's my table? Mom, where's all my shit? What's up, Godzilla fans? Samson West here, and I'm back for a brand new Godzilla figure review. That's right. Why, must you ask? Am I back for no apparent reason? Because it's Godzilla's birthday! That's right, everybody. 59 years ago to the day today, Godzilla was unleashed upon the world. All of us glorious Godzilla fans can collect all this amazing stuff because of today. Now, I'm going to be reviewing my favorite figure of all time in honor of Godzilla's birthday. So... Let's go ahead and get my groovy little spinning table thing out so that I can show him off in a more appropriate manner. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on before I put the figure down. Now, my favorite figure of all time is the Marmot Kit Godzilla 1972. Oh, that's so great. Look at him. This is my favorite figure of all time, mainly because, you know, Godzilla 72 is my favorite Godzilla. Godzilla vs. Gigan is my favorite movie, so hence, this is my favorite Godzilla. He's so great. And I know, 68 is the same thing as 72, but there's something about 72 that just makes him have a little bit, I don't know, there's a little bit different look in 72 that makes him more awesome. Um, Alright, I got this guy years ago off of eBay, and um, my, bo my grandfather bought him for me for... Probably eighty or ninety dollars, and this—that's why this thing holds a very special place in my heart. Because my grandfather bought him for me. My grandfather passed away a couple of years ago, and uh, and he, he meant a lot to me. And so this figure means a lot to me because I got it from him. And my grandfather made my collection possible. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have most of the stuff that I have. All right. So as you can see here, we have a very brilliantly sculpted Marmot Kit Godzilla 1972. This thing came out in. 2004. This thing was released in 2004, and mine specifically was one of the pre-built figures. They Marmot Kit releases their figures two different ways: pre-built and painted, or unbuilt and unpainted. And you had to put them together and paint them yourself if you had the talent, which I don't. And I'm going to give a shout out right now. Speaking of painting and stuff, to David Eric Dopko. David Dopko saved this guy years ago. I dropped this thing on his head, scuffed up a little part right there on one of his brows. And it totally ruined me. I was so upset, you guys. It sucked. But I sent him to David. David, you know, he went over him with uh, some sculpting putty on the top of his head. He got some paint. He matched it up perfectly. And now it's seamless. There is nothing wrong with this guy whatsoever. It's like he's still in the perfect condition that I bought him in. So, David, thank you so much. Oh, my God. This thing is amazing. I love it. Oh. Uh, what else can I say about this guy? I guess I'm going to go ahead and start talking about articulation and detail and whatnot. So um, let's go ahead and get him off this thing for just a split second. Now, with articulation on this guy, it spins 360 in most places. You can see that his arm spins 360. you got to be careful or else his fingernails will hit his leg and that would scuff the paint, which would be bad. Oh, just cleared it. So yes, both of them do that. The hands, look at that. The hands spin 360 degrees too. That's pretty nice. The legs spin 360 for the most part. Oh, man, look, Godzilla's a fat ass. His legs won't go all the way around. But his tail, on the other hand, that thing spins all the way around just like that, and it spins all the way around in the middle. Why? I don't know. I didn't make the damn thing. And, of course, look at this right here. Boom. Head spinulation right there. Spinning, spinning, lots of spinning, spinning. So... Yes, the head spins 360, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 points of articulation on this guy. And that's that's fine by me. I mean, shit, I could make a stop motion thing, like a video or something out of this if I wanted to, which I should, and I'm going to. It just, it's just a matter of time. Uh, all right, now, detail. Let's go on to detail. Yeah, detail. Bam. Now, with the detail on this guy, you can obviously see that it's actually very, very well done. Just, I mean, look at the thing. The skin texture was done very well. The spines going down the back that you can see there. You can see all the wrinkles in the suit. Those were very accurately done. And just right there, boom, there it is, the face. The face was done so well. I can't even, I can't even describe it. And all the colors were done accordingly. He was painted just right. 
but I mean, it, this is, there's not much of a miss on this guy. With Godzilla's, it's pretty simple. There's not much that you got to do except for sculpt the face correctly, make the body proportionate, get the skin texture right, and make him painted correct. Okay, that is kind of a lot. But either way, they did it just right. And just looking at the back of the legs again, I love how they added all those little riffles and just like it made it look like a suit in a way. So that is pretty badass with the detail right there. They got it. Number one. Bam! Alright, so yeah, you can see that it looked amazing by all those little... I mean, just look at it. You went and you saw it. It's awesome. Now, let's do sizing, of course. So I'm going to get this thing out of the way for now. Go away. And we're going to size this guy up with some of my other awesome Godzilla 72 figures that I have. Gigans and whatnot. Alright, first up is another Marmot Kit figure that I have. Here is the Marmot Kit Anguirus, 1968. And these guys size up perfectly together because, well, duh, they're made by the same company. Why wouldn't they size up together? That's ridiculous if that were ever to happen. So, I mean, look at them. They're awesome. Booyah. And gears over there. All right, another Marmot Kit figure. Here is Marmot Kit Gigan 19... Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa. What the hell? Gigan. Dude, this thing's like a head taller than this Godzilla. Why is that even... Po I just got done saying that figures from the same from the same company have to size up. Oh man, that sucks. Look at this. I mean, Gigan's a good head taller than this Godzilla. That's not okay. That's not how it was in the movie. I don't like that. What the hell? You're going over here. Alright, well, let me pull out another figure and hopefully that'll cheer me up. Here's another Gigan by X+. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that right there, you guys. Dudes, these guys size up perfectly with each other. Oh, my God, X-Plus, you've done it again. That's right, you guys. The Marmot Kit guy, again, did not size up with the uh, Marmot Kit Godzilla. But luckily, X-Plus saved, like, any hope that I, or uh, whatever. Anyway, X-Plus did the right thing, and they made a guy, again, that fits in great scale with this Godzilla. And they look perfect next to each other, so that's awesome. All right, so you can stand right over there, my good figure. That's right, you stand right there. Here is the Marmot Monster Evan Godzilla Tower. This one I'm not too bummed about because there's not many figures of it. Yeah, sure, it's not the right size. It's supposed to be, like, way up here, but still, who cares? I mean, it's a Marmot... It's, I mean, it's, it's a Godzilla Tower. That's what I was trying to say. Sorry. I'm so flustered because of that X-Plus figure over there. It's so awesome. So yeah, the Godzilla Tower figure is pretty damn cool. I painted that myself. It's, it doesn't look amazing, but uh, whatever. Now, ow! Ugh. All right, you guys can laugh all you want at that. Here we go. Here is the X-Plus Godzilla 1971. This is just to show you guys, you know, two of the same suits next to each other and that there are differences. Mainly, this one's eye is all screwed up, just like it was in the movie. I mean, I have the interchangeable head where his eye's not screwed up, but yeah. With Godzilla 71, his eye, his eyes, or his eye, and this, at this point it's just his eye, but his eye is a little bit more rounded than 72. 72 has a more lean, menacing, just squinty look that made him so awesome. That's why I love him. In 71, he was all goofy looking. Ah! Man, I need to calm down. Whew! Alright, so there's 71 over there. And finally, here we go with two Bandai figures. Here is the Bandai Godzilla 1968. Just the standard, and then the 50th anniversary memorial box. I like to call this one 69, though, because he has a more green tint to him. Which, I don't know why that makes him 69, but either way. So, yeah, I have all four versions of this suit. I have 68, 69, 71, and 72. So there we go. Let's get all these guys out of the way so we can set focus on this big guy right here. All right, this, I mean, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. No, hell, I'm going to give him an 11 out of 10. I'm going to give him a 69 out of 10. This thing looks incredible. It's, it just holds a very special place in my heart, like I've said, because my grandfather got him, and he's the, my favorite Godzilla suit, and he's very, very well done, as you heard in the detail section. The, I mean, just everything about him looks amazing. So, uh, again, happy birthday, Godzilla. Long live the king. I hope you guys enjoyed this figure review. That's all I have to say about this. Uh, so, thanks for watching, you guys. Sayonara.